Cameron asked me to. Anyone mind including him? What's his specialty? Boot licking? Um, he's your roommate. That's not my fault. <laughs> He'll test us on that stuff. Oh, come on, Cameron. Don't you get anything? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Sounds boring to me. Don't go. You know how many demerits we're talking, Dalton? So don't come, please. Look, all I'm saying is that we have to be careful. We can't get caught. No shit, Sherlock. It's starting to sound dangerous. Oh, why don't you stay home? Hey, you crazy. I've got one that's even better than that. <laughs> I do. There's a young married couple, and they're driving through the forest at night from a long trip, and they run out of gas, and there's a madman on the road. Oh, they're saying with madman on the road. I love that story. I told you that one. I did not. I got that in camp at sixth grade. In a six-year-old in the Shankill Road with a man named William Lowe. My parents made me take the clarinet for years. I love the clarinet. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> the saxophone. Well, don't you think they're going to figure out who wrote it? They're going to come to you and ask to know what the Dead Poet Society is. Charlie, you had no right to do something like that. It's Nuwanda, Cameron. That's right. It's Nuwanda. Now, are we just playing around out here, or do we mean what we say? If all we do is come together and read a bunch of poems to each other, what the hell are we doing? First, you told him about this meeting. Twice. I think guys were all fried. How do you mean? Cameron's a fink. He's in Nolan's office right now, thinking. About what? You think, didn't you, Cameron? Think? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You told Nolan everything about the club is what I'm talking about. Look, in case you hadn't heard, Dalton, there's something called an honor code at this school, all right? If a teacher asks you a question, you tell the truth, or you're expelled. Charlie! He's a rat! He's in it up to his eyes, so he ran in to save himself. Don't touch him, Charlie. You do when you're out. I'm out anyway! You don't know that. Not yet. He's right there, Charlie. And if you guys are smart, you will do exactly what I did and cooperate. They're not after us. We're the victims. Us and Neil. What's that mean? Who are they after? Well, Mr. Keating, of course, the captain himself. I mean, you guys didn't really think he could avoid responsibility, did you? Mr. Keating responsible for Neil? Is that what they're saying? Well, who else do you think, dumbass? The administration, Mr. Perry? Mr. Keating put us up to all this crap. Say what you want, but I say let Keating fry. I mean, why ruin our lives? <laughs> You just signed your expulsion papers, Nuwanda.